that's warm. That is really warm. Uh, how you guys doing today? So, I want to do a video for you here. Um, my last video that I did, it was just a quick ramble about a quad coil that I built and a contest that I'm going to be doing um, for a free IGOW as soon as I hit 100 subscribers. Um, so, we're getting there. I think we're up to maybe 80 now. So, to sweeten the deal, um, and in addition to doing the IGO L, or IGO W, sorry, the IGO W that I'll be giving away and including a free build uh, prior to uh, me sending it to you, cotton, however you want, silica, tricro coil, micro coil, dual coil, however you want, I'll build it. Um, to another winner, I'm also going to be giving away a bottle of G2's Vazilla that we have here. Um, this is a, a bottle I bought um, a little while ago and I never used because it's 12 and I stepped down to 6. Um, so it's just been sitting here, um, steeping. So should be pretty good right about now and ready to be baked. Um, if you want uh, to know more about G2 and the juices they offer, head over to electronicsticks.com. They have all their juices on there. Uh, also like G2 Vapor on Facebook. So, uh, the purpose of this video today, uh, anyway, as I was saying, I got a lot of feedback from the quad coil video that I did, and people wanted to know how I did the quad coil. Not hard, but I would love to go over it. So, this is what it looks like. Go ahead and show this to you guys here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Uh, that doesn't want to focus. So, four coils there. Um, and this uh, particular quad coil is a micro coil. Um, I've got eight wraps on each coil, uh, microed, and comes out to about 0.4 ohms. Not sure I could do anything lower than that on a quad coil um, because this is already a super warm vape. And I'm not sure that I could handle anything hotter. Go ahead and vape this. And then uh, we'll jump into it and build it. Now this is just on an IGO W. Um, I'm going to be building it on a Nimbus for you today. They're pretty much the exact same post. So regardless of which one you're doing on, it'll be the exact same. Now, before you guys do this, make sure you have at least a 20 amp battery to run. Um, a 0.4 ohm coil is not going to run on an electronic mod um, unless it's a DNA 20, um, then you're fine. But if you're using a mechanical mod, please make sure you have at least a 20 amp uh, battery because this is pushing uh, maybe 15 amps off the top of my head. I could be wrong. Check my math on a 4.2 volt battery, 0.4 ohms, around 15, something like that. But anyway, it is definitely higher than like an AW. An AW 2000 milliamp hour is like 12 amps, I think, tops. So make sure you're using an MNKE, EFES new 30 amp batteries, or a 1600 mAh AW. So now that we got that out of the way. Jesus. Um, let's go ahead and get started on this build. So we've got the Nimbus here that we're going to be using. Can set that aside for a sec. The first thing that we're going to have to do is um, build our coils. So in the interest of time, I've already wasted about five minutes here, so I'm sorry. I like talking, as you can tell. That's kind of why I do these videos. Um, in the interest of time, I've already torched my canthal. 
So the first thing you're going to want to do, torture canthal, it makes it more malleable uh, and easier to get your coils to stick together. So get your drill bit. Um, this is just under a 1 8 I believe. Um, and what I do is I basically start with a little lead there. I did focus, but start with this little lead here. And I start it uh, on the top of the drill bit towards me. And then you bring it under. And then as I bend that under, as I bend that under, I grab this top lead here and I hold it and then I just start wrapping. You want to make sure that your coils don't overlap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight wraps there, I believe. I think that's nine actually. Um, this part is really important that you get an equal number of wraps or it's not going to fire evenly and you're going to have a bad time. Okay, so that's eight. I did have one too many. All right. Once you've got your micro coil done, it should look something like this. And apparently I need a better camera. So that does not want to focus. Let's bring it down here and see if it wants to focus. See it a little better there. All right, so once you've got your micro coil done, um, now we remember we've got to do this four different times. So um, clip your lead, and we might as well do this all together. So go ahead, take your time doing your coils, and we'll just. Uh, just bang out these micro coils together. How's that sound? I think that sounds awesome. Today, my pretty I, I worked all day today. Um, and my girlfriend works late. Um, she works late tonight. She doesn't get home until like 10. So I had two options when I got off work. The first option is I come home and sit and talk to my two cats. The downside to that is they don't have much to say back. Um, it's just, it's not that fun. So the alternative option was making this video. Um, so instead of talking to my cats, I'm now talking to a camera, which I'm pretty much sure is about the same thing. Just Interesting observation there. All right, so coil number two is done. Now, if you guys have seen any of my other videos um, on micro coils or any micro coil videos, period, um, this part should probably be pretty easy for you by now. So um, I am using 28 gauge. So I've done the math a few different times. Four coils at 28 gauge around. God, I really wish I could remember the size of this drill bit. I've got a really crappy back Black & Decker set of drill bits, and they're not um, labeled on which is which. So it's all a guessing game. Uh, but anyway, those four coils... Um, put me at about, ran out of canthal here, um, 0.4 ohms. So the other day I hadn't 
thought about rewrapping it and doing seven wraps, which would probably bring me down closer to 0.3 ohms. And then it's just that quad coil is already hotter than hell at 0.4 ohms. So not really much point in going down to um, 0.3 ohms where it's just going to be plain unenjoyable. All right. How are you guys doing? I'm on my last one here. Keeping up? Going faster? Probably. I definitely don't claim to be lightning fast at this. That was like the perfect amount of cannonball. All right. So once you have your coils done, all wrapped and good to go, um, should look something like this. I really wish this camera would focus. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm not sure why it's not. There we go. So that's what you should have now. Again, I have eight wraps. You may have differently. Different if you're um, shooting for a different resistance. So the next part of this that you're going to do is go ahead and take your coil and you're going to pinch it in between your pliers, just like so. So you got that coil pinched in between your pliers. On this end, I have my leads coming out. Uh, they should be coming out perpendicular. That's how you're going to be inserting it into the holes in the um, the Nimbus or IgoW Addy, whatever you're using. So they should be coming out perpendicular. So on the side where the opposite side of where your leads are coming out, you're just going to go ahead and torch this. I need a new torch desperately. And you just want to get that coil red hot. Once that's done, let it cool. Um, and that way it'll kind of fuse together. So this is basically the same stuff I've gone over in my other micro coil videos. I did a regular micro coil that I did on an Igo W or Igo L. I keep confusing those today for some reason. Uh, and then I also did a micro coil that I did on a KFUN light. So if that interests you, check those out as well. All right. So once that's done and that has cooled off, oh my gosh, this is horrible. It wants to focus and then it doesn't. Once that's done, the coil should be pretty much fused together. Um, it's not like you're welding or anything, so don't try and pull it apart because it will come apart. But for the most part, that's the idea. Cat, cat is destroying my couch right now. She thinks she's cute. She's not. So again, just make sure that the leads on the uh, coil or perpendicular. It'll make it a lot easier uh, when you go to. Oh, that was hot. It's heat. It hurts. Um, one thing to take note as you're uh, firing these coils and kind of fusing them together is make sure that they don't start to slant. So when you are holding them in between your pliers, um, it really requires very little pressure. All right, two down. Let's go ahead and do the third. 
I like, I decided that I like, when I do these videos, I like covering the entire process, even though I've done other videos that cover this process, because uh, this may be the first time that you're even trying a microcoil. So it kind of saves you the frustration of having to watch two videos to figure out how to do one thing. Alright, almost done. Then we get to the fun part. Really the, the hardest part uh, is mounting these little bastards. Can, can I can I can I say that? Bastards? I don't know. YouTube? Anyone? I'm not sure if I can say bastards, but I said it. So I guess probably okay. Alright. Um, anyway, as I was saying, um, working with the amount of wires that are coming out each side um, is definitely the hardest part and making not sh not making sure not to if I can speak uh, making sure not to strip any of the wires or cut them off too soon or anything like that that's the frustrating part about quad coils this is actually the easy part this is a walk in the park especially if you've done micro coils before um, after a few times of doing micro coils, honestly, they kind of become second nature. Um, the whole process just is pretty simple. So, got our four coils. Um, so we're all set as far as that goes. Um, next thing we're going to go ahead and do is mount these on our attic. So what I've done first uh, to kind of make my life easier is I have taken these screws pretty much all the way up. Um, they, you want to check because they're honestly going to have to be pretty much, Jesus, they're going to pretty much have to be all the way up um, to fit that many wires through each of the three holes. Um, so at this point, I'll bring you down here, and I'm going to hope that this focuses. If it doesn't, this video is a total loss, and I'm useless to you guys. All right. So what you're going to go ahead and do is insert your first coil here. And... Um, kind of where they like to catch is on the inside of the Addy deck here. Um, so getting them past that is sometimes a little annoying and tricky. Uh, move it so it's just inside of the Addy deck. Uh, you don't want it too close to your post, but you also want to make sure that it's not going to be touching your top cap or anything like that. Okay. Um, and then I usually do these one side at a time. So I'm going to start with this side. Uh, and I'm going to do the two coils on this side. So I'm going to take my, what I usually like to do here, take my other coil. What I do is once I get that where I want it, is I kind of bend these off to the side. And it kind of gets them out of the way. Um, just make sure not to, when you're doing that, make sure you're not pulling your coil in farther than you want it. That's what I tried to do when I first put it in. So, uh, And then one thing, kind of like to tell you this now, one thing that I really like to do is leave one of the coils, when I clip them, leave one of the coils a little bit longer. It just makes it easier to go in. So you're not trying to put them both in simultaneously. You can get one in and then worry about the other. Okay. So just insert that like that. All right, so now we've already got four wires, two coming out each side. This is where it starts to get complicated. So the first thing I do, the reason why I do one side uh, before the other, before I even start the other side, is because once I get those two done, um, I can kind of pinch them down. I can tighten one of these screws, and that'll keep those from moving for the most part. Okay, um, so we've got that done. 
the center, obviously, the center post, you're still going to have to leave uh, open. Can't clamp that one down quite yet. And then from here, it doesn't really matter which side you go at. Um, it's six is really, this is just where it starts to get fun. When I say fun, I mean rather annoying and irritating. We all know what fun means. And be very careful not to bend your coils. So I've got that in there where I want it. Go ahead and bend these leads here. And it makes it easier to insert into the other side. Um, now I will say there's a few different ways to do quad coils. This is the way that I like to do it. If you find another way that you like to do it, do it that way. This is just one way. Um, I'm by no means a professional at this. So, go ahead and put this one in here. One thing you want to make sure of is that as you're running your wires through that um, if you can see this, you don't want any of these long legs here to get twisted up on the inside of this. Because what you're going to have to do is as opposed to cutting these off, which is damn near impossible on a quad coil, uh, we're just going to twist the legs off. So you're just going to want to make sure that... Um, there, nothing is on the inside of, of each other in the legs here. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and start tightening these down. Tighten them slowly as you do this. Um, it will want to kind of pull your coils apart. So just do it. That screw is a little stripped. Uh, just kind of tighten that down slowly. And it doesn't need to be cranked down. You just want it um, to make sure it's tight and is going to hold all those wires in place. So this is what you should have so far. Got to focus there. Um, it looks like a giant mess right now. But not to worry, we will fix it. So what you're going to do at this point, and I kind of test to see... Um, and make sure that the wires are secured down. So kind of pull on it and make sure it doesn't want to pull the coil through. All right, once you do that, just go ahead and start twisting your wires off. So we've got one down there. The center ones, the ones in the center, are a little bit of a pain because of the way... You have to pull the wire up and angle it and then twist it, which makes it a little more resilient and it doesn't want to break off very easily, but it does. All right, so I can see that as I'm pulling this, one of, the, one of the coils on this side here is kind of jiggling and starting to come loose, which means that that post is not down tightened enough. So all I did was tighten that up, and I'm back at it. Uh, one more on this side. I'm just going to double check this and make sure that's tight. Seems like it is. These side ones are the easy ones. It's the center ones that'll, that you're going to have to fight with a little bit. That one comes off. Alright, so that one 
kind of came a little loose as well. And they can come loose. As you're jiggling these wires, um, it can cause the screw to loosen. Okay. Got two more of these ones in the center here. That one came off relatively easily. Again, just make sure not to kind of, for lack of a better term, disturb your coils. So that's what you should have at this point. Um, your coils are going to be uh, out of whack uh, because we haven't straightened them yet. So what you're going to do is take your needle nose and you're just going to straighten these. And I usually like to take my drill bit that I used and basically make it so they are completely even. So I'll straighten this one up a bit. So basically your drill bit should go through one coil and without get them straight to the point where it'll go through the second coil just like that all right and just straighten those out so those are straight that's what we want I'm going to do the same thing to the other side here And you can kind of uh, use the drill bit to kind of bend and, and manipulate here things uh, the way you want it. All right. So before you do anything, before you even think about putting this on a mod, um, you're going to want to test your resistance. These little ohm meters are about the nicest thing in the world. Um, you can pick them up online. They're kind of hard to find sometimes. I got this on a group buy. So we'll put this on 0.5. Um, so I was shooting for 0.4, came out of 0.5. So um, make sure these leads are tight because um, as you can see, as I tighten the leads, it's actually lowering my resistance. So if the leads are not tight, uh, first of all, it's not going to fire right. Um, but you're going to have uh, uh, basically uh, an inaccurate uh, resistance when you check that. So 0.45. Shooting for 0.4. And my go ahead and if your coils kind of come out of whack as you tighten those uh, drill bits, or if your coils come out of whack as you tighten those screw heads, you can put the drill bit, that's what I was trying to say, you can put the drill bit through again just to straighten everything up. Next thing we need to do is kind of pretty up the coils here. Um, the, basically, in my experience, the prettier they are, the better they fire. Uh, 
So what you're going to do from here is you're going to heat these coils up just like that. And they're all glowing. It's actually, if you can see this, they're all glowing pretty much evenly, which is our entire goal. So what you want to do is basically heat them up, and then if there's any gaps, just go ahead and push those together. And that's what we should get here. Each coil heating up evenly, heating up at about the same time, and glowing the same color of orange or red. All right. So now that we've got that done, um, we're just going to go ahead and stuff our cotton in here. Organic cotton boiled for 15 minutes, changed the water, boiled for 15 minutes again. Pat it down with a paper towel and dry it overnight. So let's go ahead and take a chunk of that cotton here. And I might have grabbed a little too much. Um, you're going to have to gauge how much cotton you're going to need uh, based off of the size you did for your holes. So it's also a good idea uh, to wash your hands prior to um, handling the cotton. Um, it's just a, a lot of oils from things like that in your hands can make a real nasty real nasty uh, flavor on your cotton. Twist that some more. And what you're going to do is you're going to start on one side and you're going to go through the other side and you're just going to feed the cotton through here. And what you're going for is you want your cotton to slide in easily. There shouldn't be too much resistance. But at the same time, you don't want it, if you make a slight move, your cotton's going to fall out. All right. Um, I'm going to, this is bothering me. These coils aren't perfectly even. On I usually like them to line up evenly. They're not perfectly even, that's okay, but I'm just kind of weird about that stuff. So once you feed your cotton through, go ahead and clip each end. You want your cotton to look like that. Um, go ahead and do your other side. This might be way too thin. We'll see. getting it at the right spot. All 
All right. So that is what you should have. Um, it's pretty much that easy. Uh, you can push your coils down where you like them, lined up with your air holes or whatever. Um, come back up here. All right. Um, anyway, push your coils down where you like them. It doesn't really matter too much. Lined up with your air holes is the best position. You can drill out a cap with four air holes. I recommend using a drill press if you're going to with a hand drill. It's rather hard. I messed up several caps that way. It almost put a drill bit through my finger. It's not pleasant. Um, so let's go ahead. Um, do recommend, because you've been fiddling with the coils and kind of moving them around, go ahead and check your resistance one more time. 0.43. So we changed a little bit, but 0.43 is where we came out at there. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. So with cotton, um, hopefully you already know, never dry burn cotton. Um, you'll light it on fire. <laughs> I hope everyone knows that's doing this. Um, cotton is flammable. Um, if you don't know that cotton is flammable, I suggest you turn off this video now and probably talk to someone about that. Um, anyway, most of us should know that cotton is flammable, so don't dry burn it. Um, which also means watch out and make sure your coils don't get too dry. So right now, I'm just wetting these wicks. Um, on your first burn, you want to make sure that they are extra saturated. Um, you shouldn't see any. Um, you shouldn't see any white, super white areas, any dry areas. Go ahead and put it here. Oh, in case anyone is wondering, today I am vaping Chillaxin by Atom Bomb, six milligram. It's good stuff. Ah, uh, menthols on a dull coil. This should be fun. Quad coil. We just built a quad coil, right? Yeah. Let's see how it goes. What do you think? You guys like it? How's yours working? Good? All right. If it's not, it's not my fault. Don't blame it on me. Watch the video again. Um, let's go ahead and do the final test, how it vapes. Who cares how it looks? What's it vape like? Uh, obviously, line your air holes. I This is the tricky part, is because you're only using two, uh, if you're only using two cap, or two air holes on your cap like I am mine, I put my air hole in the center of both coils. So center of the coil, Center between the two coils, get your air hole right there. Um, quad coils do take a sec, or yeah, quad coils. It's been a long day. Quad coils do take a second to heat up, um, so give it a sec. Ooh, that is good. That is awesome. You guys is vaping good? I hope so. That's the whole reason I did this video. So if it's not, I'm going to be mad. So better be vaping good. Uh, gosh, let's, uh, let's, let's actually tighten these. Um, if you notice that one of your coils is drying out faster than the other, generally that means nine times out of ten, that means a screw is loose. Um, so check your check your end screws. Because, um, like I said, nine times out of ten, that means one is loose, and it's not making a good connection, therefore it's not burning as hot.
Wow. That is a warm vape. And that's like off a three second pull. I don't think I can pull any longer on that menthol. Well, I've filled my apartment with vapor. Um, and cats are freaking out. Except the blind one, it doesn't bother her. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video again. Um, just a recap. Oh, wow. We've been going at this for 40 minutes, so I appreciate your patience. If you watch the whole video, you're awesome. I hope this helped, and I appreciate your support. Wrap this up in the next 30 seconds. Remember, once I get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to be giving out an IGO W. Send it pre-built to you. And to another winner, I'm also going to be sending a bottle of Vazilla uh, by G2 Vapor. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed doing it. Thanks for sticking with me. I hope this was informative, and uh, have a great day.